to a light say back back with another video guys i wanted to do an update on pulse x and pulse chain now some of you might have seen the previous video uh, where i also spoke about liquid loans which is part of the pulse chain ecosystem and got a very good response on that so i thought i'll give you guys an update okay guys now if you are new to the channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this and stop right there and just tick the like button or click the like button or smash the like button, whatever you want, okay guys? Because that actually helps with getting the word out for these things. When you do that, YouTube triggers an algorithm or it triggers an algorithm, okay guys? YouTube will begin to recommend the content a little bit more. And also you can let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about Pulse Chain yourself, what you think about Pulse X, Liquid Loans even, okay guys? Let me know in the comments because that also helps with the YouTube algorithm. It basically lets YouTube know that people are engaging with the content and they want to see more of it. So if you are a Hexican or a Richard Hart fan or you like Pulse Chain, you've sacrificed or whatever, all right, guys, it's actually your responsibility to help get the word out as well. Push these videos to more people, okay, guys? And all you have to do is hit the like button. It's absolutely free. Leave a comment down below and at least then you can share your views on it, all right, guys, and get even more people in the comments, even more bullish on the whole ecosystem. So what you're looking at right here is just under $1 billion in total sacrificed to Pulse X on its own. I believe there was about half a billion or just over half a billion, maybe 600 million sacrificed into Pulse Chain. So this whole ecosystem as a whole, we're looking at about 1.5 billion and we've not even got out of the gate yet. And that to me is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've seen any other project raise this much money in such a short space of time or even at all. You know, a lot of the top dogs out there didn't raise this kind of money. We're talking about, you know, a few million, several, you know, a few tens of millions of dollars. All right, guys, nothing near hundreds of millions to billions of dollars or potentially uh, over a billion dollars because I believe this is going to hit a billion dollars in not too far from now. And one thing you have to understand about Pulse Chain or Pulse X, looking at the Pulse X website, is community is involved with this. Without a great community, it's highly likely that a project won't succeed. Now, with Hex doing a 10,000X, it's definitely, you know, brought a massive community into Pulse Chain, Pulse X, because this is also created by the same founder. Richard Hart. Richard Hart has been doing a great job of marketing this thing. In fact, I was surprised to see him on LinkUp TV. You know, me being from, you know, the UK, very familiar with LinkUp TV. Now, LinkUp TV is more widely known for, you know, a lot of, you know, music and, you know, um, urban culture and stuff like that. And Richard Hart is in London speaking to this girl on LinkUp TV, doing an interview. All right, guys, there's trailers. Uh, of Richard Hart, trailers of Pulse Chain, uh, uh, or a new documentary that I saw that's coming on the Pulse Chain and Hex. Uh, sorry, maybe it's just about Hex. And he's actually on here promoting Pulse Chain. So that's going to be bullish for Pulse Chain. That's going to bring a whole new audience potentially into crypto. And we know that Richard Hart likes to brag. He likes to boast. He likes to say, you know, you know, all the money that he's raised for Sense Foundation, $27 million, and, you know, the amount of X's that Hex has bought. And, you know, a lot of people might frown upon this type of behavior. He likes to show off all his Louis Vuitton and his Rolexes and Ferraris and stuff like that. But one of the reasons he does this is he understands marketing. If you look at hip hop and rap culture, why did it get so many people viewing their activity, viewing their content is because they flaunt a lot of wealth. Okay, guys, they got lots of jewelry on, they're wearing designer clothes, they're driving big cars, nice cars, all right, guys, and that naturally draws people's attention in. And then you listen to what they say. People listen to their lyrics and all that sort of stuff. Richard Hart is doing nothing different. He's basically using the same strategy to promote his projects because people don't want to invest in someone who doesn't look like they're making money they want to invest in somebody or they, or they pay they pay more attention to people that actually have signs of success and if you're not from the crypto space and you see Richard Hart you won't know anything about him but one thing you can do is look at him and say look he's got all these designer clothes on he's got loads of Rolexes he's got all of this wealth maybe we should listen to what he says so basically he's just using all of that stuff all those materialistic things to market himself and market his projects which is ultimately drawing people's attention and contributed to the success of his projects. Now, if we go back to the amount of money sacrificed here, more than half of that 
has been sacrificed from the actual hex token, Richard Hart's other token. And you can see the values of some of the other tokens that have been sacrificed, like Ethereum, USD coin, Teva, and so on. You can go down the list. But it's clear to see that a lot of people invested in this project are actual hexagons. And the only reason these hexagons are able to sacrifice so much money or so much crypto into this project is because they made so much from hex in the first place and what this tells me is that most of these people that sacrifice their hex are hodlers so what are they going to be doing with pulse chain is it going to be a lot of selling pressure when pulse chain comes out on the open market possibly yes because you have all of these people over here and you have these hexagons of course uh, you know it's not to say that they won't sell but it's highly probable that they will hold on to their pulse chain just like they held on to their hex and because they're looking at the success of hex this is what i achieve by holding hex what can i achieve by holding pulse chain whose pulse chain created by the same guy that created hex and so on all right guys so you catch my drift you get the message that i'm trying to convey to you right most of these people are going to be potentially holding their pulse chain tokens so this community is definitely big and it's actually bigger than the hex community on its own because a lot of people that missed out on hex or a lot of people that didn't like richard hart or a lot of people that sold their hex early and thought man i should have held on to it they're going to get a second chance by getting into pulse chain they're investing in the same ecosystem they're investing in the same person the same founder the same vision okay guys so i think there's definitely going to be a lot more people with their eyes on the pulse chain especially when hex came out a lot of people were saying that hex is a scam a lot of people didn't believe they will go anywhere a lot of people didn't believe it would compete with bitcoin at all all right guys now if you look at coin market cap or well no sorry I should, that's a bad example if you look at coin market cap it's not going to show hex um in the rankings where it should be all right guys i don't know what's going on with all of that but technically hex should be uh, in the top three top four potentially top five you know depending on uh, where the price is at right now i haven't actually checked okay guys but at one point in time it was the top three um uh by by market cap or at least should have been although it wasn't showing that in many places if you go on nomics for example it would show the the actual market cap of hex i believe it was about 90 billion dollars or plus at one point Okay, guys, so, you know, Hex is definitely one that you need to watch out for uh, as well. You know, let's not forget about Hex uh, in the midst of this madness. Okay, guys, but this, and I'll say the midst of this madness because this is madness, guys. It's not even being, I mean, I had to, the sacrifice phase isn't even over. There's still a long way to go before the sacrifice phase ends. I believe 34 days, uh, to be precise, as you can see right here. Okay, guys, so you can just imagine what this number will reach by the end of that. And, of course, I'll probably be bringing you an update as well. Okay, guys, so make sure you smash the like button as well. Don't forget to do that. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Now, when is Pulse X actually going to launch? A lot of people will have that question. In the FAQs, it does mention they will probably, probably launch in a few months. Okay, guys, so I believe that, you know, this is going to launch not long after the sacrifice phase ends. I also took part in the Pulse Chain sacrifice which which uh, uh, went live ages ago so i don't know how long i've been waiting for that already i completely forget about it a lot of the time to be honest but there is a test net where you can go and test out your uh, your post chain transactions and all that sort of stuff all right guys post chain or post x sorry post x is like your uniswap for uh, the post chain okay guys of course you have ethereum and ethereum has uniswap you know without a decentralized exchange you can't really be a decentralized protocol uh, but yeah post x you know is just you know there's there's no way wasting time all right guys like if you look at cardano with their smart contracts they've been waiting forever for a uh, a dex to launch i believe that sunday swaps probably going to be launching sometime soon uh either this month or the next or so they say but um yeah pulse chain isn't messing about richard hart isn't messing about he understands what decentralized finance is with hex he created a certificate of deposit it was created it was ready um there was no there's no admin keys or anything like that and i believe that with pulse chain we're going to get the same thing all right guys no admin keys Keys, fully decentralized protocol and we're going to be able to smash it with this thing all right guys so you got to get the word out there make sure you smash the like button i just wanted to give you that update video and just kind of have a little chat about pulse chain let me know if you want more videos like this and i'll definitely bring you more all right guys but you have to let me know in the comments if you want more content like this you got to let me know i don't want to you know be putting content out that people don't want to hear let me know that you like it smash the like button all right guys so that being said it's the end of the video please make sure you subscribe to the channel also tick the little bell for notifications and i guess i will see you guys in the very next video